Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to buy Microsoft Access, determining which version of Microsoft Access or Office is right for you. Today's question comes from Jennifer in Montgomery, Alabama, one of my Platinum members. However, I am answering this question at least once or twice a week from people that email me. It goes something like this. I'm setting up an Access database for my new business. I have an older version of Access, 2013 in her case. Should I use that or upgrade to the newest version? Also, I understand there is some kind of subscription service available too. Microsoft is very confusing with their product offerings. Can you please clarify this for me? Yes, Jennifer, that's something else I hear a lot. Microsoft has a fantastic product. I love Microsoft Access. I love Excel. I love Word. I, I basically build my, my whole business on Microsoft Access training. But their marketing and their product offerings are a little confusing. They've got standard, professional, student, home and office. It's hard to make sense of them all. And I've been doing this for 30 years. So let me try to break this down for you just a little bit. First of all, one thing that people always ask me is, does Microsoft have a free version of Access available? There's free versions of Word and Excel and some of the other Office apps that you can get to on office.com. And you can use Excel for free, use Word for free. You run it right in your web browser, and it looks almost exactly like the desktop version, and they're totally free. All you have to do is set up a Microsoft account, and you can use them, no strings attached. In fact, I've got another whole video on how to do that. I'll put a link down below in the link section. But unfortunately, there is no free version of Access. You need at least one paid copy of Microsoft Access to build your database. Everybody else that's going to just use it on your network can use a free runtime copy. I'll talk more about that in a few minutes. Now, Microsoft Access comes as part of either Office Professional Plus 2019 or Microsoft 365 Business Standard. There's a difference. If you buy Microsoft Office, that is a lifetime ownership of a single version of the software. That's how Microsoft used to always sell their stuff, right? You had Office 2000, Office 2007, Office 2013. You bought it, and that was it. When they came out with another version, you'd have to buy the next version. All right, so every couple of years, if companies wanted to stay up to date, they'd have to shell out a lot of money. Now, these are prices as of today that I found online on Microsoft's website. It's currently July of 2021. So Microsoft Office Pro 2019 is $124.99. All right, but that doesn't give you updates. You'll get bug fixes, so they'll do service packs in case they discover bugs, but you won't get any new features. Now, the subscription, on the other hand, is what they call Microsoft 365. It's a subscription model. The software is the same. But you'll get new features, you'll get new stuff, all right, as new updates come down the line. Like with Excel last year, they released a brand new function called XLOOKUP. It's a VLOOKUP replacement, and it's fantastic. I love it. But it's only available for Microsoft 365 subscribers. The cost is a little more. It's $134.99 per year, but you get constant updates. So I personally think that's worth it. Especially as a business, you can just budget that into your monthly budget, and that's what you're paying for the software. Now, there is even a cheaper version of Microsoft 365 available. It's called Business Apps Only. It's kind of hard to find on their website. They, they do a good job of hiding it, but I'll put a link down below to get you directly there if you want. It's only $8.25 per month, and that's one user with up to five devices, so you can have it on five computers if you want to. You get one terabyte of cloud storage, and you get all the basic Microsoft Office apps, Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Access, and Publisher. With this version, you don't get email service, you don't get Microsoft Teams, and you don't get SharePoint, but most people don't use those anyways. This is the version of Microsoft Office that I have. I have a 365 business apps only subscription. I use Gmail for my email most of the time, and I never use Teams, and I rarely use SharePoint. So if you're going to be running your business on Microsoft Access, if you can't budget 8 bucks a month for your Access database for the most up-to-date version of Microsoft Access and the other applications, I, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, people that say that Microsoft Office is too expensive. No, it's not. It's 8 bucks a month, roughly. All right, it's a cup of coffee. Okay, 
So when people say they can't afford it, yeah, yeah, you can. Microsoft has done a really good job of making this very affordable. Now, can you buy Access by itself? Sure, but it's more expensive than just getting that eight twenty-five a month subscription. I did a little searching. I found it in the Microsoft Store. It's one thirty-nine ninety-nine. Again, that's a standalone version. And I have seen it on some third-party sites for as low as $89, but I don't always trust those third-party sites. I don't know. If I'm not buying it from a reputable site that I'm well aware of or Microsoft directly or at least someone like Amazon, you got to be careful. All right? I've, I've seen some bogus software being sold out there. I've had clients that have gotten ripped off. You know, you buy it. It looks legit. The website looks legit. You buy a license. And then, you know, two months later, Microsoft says, your license of Microsoft Office is invalid, and you got to contact them and pay for it again because you bought pirated software or something that was cracked. Okay, so be very careful what you're buying. Now, remember, when you buy Microsoft Office, you need either Office Professional, if you're going to buy the, the lifetime copy, or Microsoft 365 Business to get Microsoft Access. All right, the standard home, personal, and I should have put on there the student editions, do not include access. All right, you'll find cheaper versions available. The home, right, home and student, for example, is real cheap. No access, though. So if you want to run Microsoft Access, you got to get either Office Professional or 365 Business. Now, as far as the latest version goes, I'm a strong proponent of upgrading to the latest version of Access. All right, the older versions are fine. Access really hasn't changed that much I'd say going back to 2013, 2007 was a major upgrade from 2003, right? The ACCDB file format, the ribbon, they made a lot of changes from 2003 to 2007. After that, it's been mostly little incremental things and a lot of bug fixes. So if you got an old copy of 2013 laying around and you want to just, you know, get your database started and see if you like it, see if it's for you, sure. All right, go ahead, give it a try. You can always upgrade your database later. But again, $8 a month, you get the latest version, right? The newest features, the bug fixes, get a subscription. I've had customers that were using older versions of Access and they were emailing me like, I got this problem, this thing isn't working, da 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 And I'm like, I'm trying it on my computer, it's working just fine for me, right? Send me your database. They send me their database, works fine for me, okay? Then I check, what version of Access do you have? Oh, I'm running Access 2010. Oh, that's why. There's a bug in that version. What you're trying to do doesn't work. Yeah, you're going to have to upgrade. Okay? Now, I'm not saying that every upgrade and every bug fix is perfect. All right? Just last summer, in fact, Microsoft broke the Zoom window in Access. I, I, I upgraded. I did a Microsoft update. It downloaded the, the latest update for me. And then I use the Zoom window all the time. Shift F2 to zoom into a field. Right? I hit it. Pff, the database crashes. Okay, wait a minute. Restarted, rebooted, compacted the database, did all that stuff. Nope problem okay i went online googled it turns out the latest update broke the zoom box so they're not perfect but it's better than having a version that's five ten years old okay now i mentioned earlier that you only need to buy one copy of access only the person in your office developing the database designing the tables the forms the reports okay only that person needs a paid copy of access Everybody else on the network can use the free access runtime. I got a whole video that shows you how to do that. I'll put a link down below. This used to be another major stumbling block for access years back is that companies that wanted to use access didn't want to spend you know, the money for 20 copies of it. Well, Microsoft has this thing called the runtime edition. You can install that for free on all the computers that aren't going to be doing design work and they can run access for free. They can use your database for free. And one more time, be careful which version of Office you buy. There are similar products out there that are marketed to look like Microsoft Office that are not Microsoft Office. There's some other kind of Office. And I'm not saying they're bad programs. They're fine. But they don't have Microsoft Access in them, for sure. Okay? Be careful if you're buying somewhere like Amazon that you don't buy an older copy. You can find, you know, 2013, 2007 out there. Really cheap, but you want the latest version, trust me. And of course, after you buy Access, the most important thing is that you properly learn how to use it. And that's why I make these videos to teach you how to use Access. 
right? You got the software installed now, build your database right. That's what I'm for. I'll teach you how to do that. My Access Beginner Level 1 class. I just re-recorded it, and it's got all the latest updates for 2019 and beyond. All right, it's over four hours long. It's absolutely free. I'll put a link down below. You can go watch that. And if you have any questions, post them down below in the comments section. Thanks, and I hope this was helpful.